Lindbergh, Ford Crown Victoria, police. Hey guys, this is Magnolia Root Productions talking to you live about the Ford Crown Victoria kit in the Georgia State Patrol paint scheme by Lindbergh. This is a 125th scale model kit. It comes in roughly eight different police car paint schemes, I think. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. This is the box. It's empty because I've already put the kit together. Okay, so it comes with unmarked Illinois, California, Tennessee, North Carolina, Alabama, and Georgia. The kit is very easy to put together. It's roughly not even 100 parts. As you can see, very very simple incredibly simple the car does roll <clears throat> you have a metal axle that hooks onto the wheels and slides through an opening it rolls also screws yes you can screw this kit together it does not glue together it screws together what does that mean, you might ask? Well, that means that you can take this kit apart should you ever desire to modify it, rebuild it, do anything to it that you might desire. So, Ford Crown Victoria. It's a 125th scale kit. Here is the car in question. As you can see, it has a push bar added to it. It does not come with a push bar. I added that custom. The lights come pre-painted, except for the yellow in the cars. The yellow in the uh, light bar is custom painted. I had to paint that because it was otherwise just going to be solid colored, which didn't look right. The car comes pre-painted, A.E. This is your pre-painting. The body is already pre-painted and everything else is molded in black, which means modeling this car is a breeze. I would highly recommend this kit to... <clears throat> Sorry, got a lung issues today. I would highly recommend this kit to anybody that is looking to model a police car, especially Georgia State Patrol, especially a Crown Victoria. Unfortunately, this is the only Crown Victoria that I can find that is not very old. This is the newest model Crown Victoria model that I can get a hold of that's not die cast. Um, it's a good car. I like it. I like the kit. The kit is very easy to put together. So someone that's just beginning can put it together. Someone that's been um, out of modeling for a while that just wants to get back in. It's a great kit. Someone like me, almost a decade of modeling experience. I can put it together. It's not put together all the way right now because I started on it over a month ago. And I built it over a month ago. But what I did was I took it back apart to modify it. So it's currently in the modification shops. Um, it's the only... Good new mod modern ish police car kit that you can get a hold of, other than the Lindbergh, same brand, Dodge Charger. I got it in the Illinois State Police. However, as you can see, da 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 I got Georgia State Patrol custom paint. I'm doing the Georgia State Patrol and the Charger as well because. I have quite a few friends that are GSP troopers. Um, in fact, as soon as I get out of the military, I'm planning on going for uh, Georgia State Patrol. Um, something I've always wanted to do. I was unable to get on with them before I enlisted, but I'm going to try when I get back out, which may be here soon uh, due to medical conditions. But anyway, um, so the, the Georgia State Patrol Dodge Charger is a custom build for one of my friends and also because the Dodge Charger looks so much more badass as a GSP trooper car than as a Illinois State Police because the GSP absolutely tricks out their police cars. Overall, the kit is 
$30 for the Ford Crown Victoria. I got it for $30 at a hobby shop in Dallas, Texas. Online, on eBay right now, these kits are going for roughly $25. They're not expensive. They're easy to put together. And if you love police car models and you love state patrol police car models especially, this is a great kit. You, If you have paint stripper and you really wanted that, uh, you could get a hold of this kit or one of the other kits for um, repurposing into another police car model if you should so desire. You could strip the paint off of this because, believe me, the paint will come off fairly easily. I had to clear coat this twice to keep any black washes and weathering washes that I used to fill in the panel lines. I had to do two, clo two coats of clear coat to prevent it from rubbing the paint off with the paint thinner and the black paint mix that I was using. You could theoretically do it with alcohol and India ink. I just happened to have paint thinner. And the paint thinner really softened up the paint. So I would definitely put at least two coats of clear coat on before you go to weather this in any way. Um, but they do have an unmarked. So you could easily get, if you can get a hold of the unmarked one, that's a great starting point. But this, if this is all you can get a hold of, you could definitely strip the paint off of it and um, go to repaint it and have a different police car paint scheme these are great police car kits uh, if you have decals which i'm sure you can get a hold of good custom decals that's how i got the uh, orange gsp decals you could easily make this into any other department's police car assuming you have the decals all right guys this is magnolia Root productions this is a was a quick review of the Lindbergh 125th Ford Crown Victoria. I love the kit. I love how it came out. I love the fact that it screws together. It's a simple kit, but it honestly will be a lot of fun, irregardless of how advanced of a skill level you are. Sometimes it's fun just to get back to uh, a basic kit and realize what you actually have there. All right, guys, this is Magnolia, Magnolia Root Productions. Sorry for the tongue twist. I'm... Still have a sleep. It's pretty early in the morning over here. Uh, that's all I've got for you guys. Y'all have a fantastic day.